seller? What the hell? How did I not know about this until just now? What the hell? That's where these went? What the shit? I've been looking for these for the... What the fuck? What the fuck? What, is that a guy? Jeremy Whitman, I'm here to harvest your soul! What are you doing in my cellar? I don't know. I mean, I had a plan, but I kind of feel like an idiot now. You were going to kill me, weren't you? Yeah. But I mean, I had it all planned that you ruined it! Well, I, did, I mean, I didn't mean to, but I'm glad I did. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to die, but like, it was going to be so cool! I was going to memorize your day-to-day -day patterns, I was going to find out which ways I could manipulate you into thinking that, like, you were going a bit crazy. I was gonna kill the people around you, kind of try and trick you into thinking that you were doing it yourself, unbeknownst to yourself. And then, once once you were, like, about to break, I was gonna reveal myself to you. And then that would be, like, the final girl circuit, and then it would lead to one big final showdown. And then, uh, I would kill you. It was gonna be so cool! That doesn't sound very cool for me. Well, clearly you haven't watched many slasher movies. So is that why you do this? Because you like slashers? That's very close-minded of you. That's like saying video games cause violence. That's nonsense. Slasher movies didn't make me like this. Mental illness and my dad did. Makes sense. That's usually how that goes. Exactly. I'm just your neighborhood serial killer. I, I just get influenced from slashers. Got it. So if that was your plan, to gradually mentally torture me until I break, uh... Why haven't you started yet? Nothing's changed, and it seems like you've been down here for a really long time. Well, you're very unpredictable. I've been here for, like, months, and I still can't tell what you're going to be doing on any given night. How so? Well, one night you'll be on the couch for four hours watching Andrew Garfield edits. Another night, you'll go out into the lawn at 3 a.m. and listen to music on your headphones. And then on the third night, you'll just be bouncing in between everything. You'll go skate three, exercise, dishes, bath, bikes... I don't know. It's just, it's crazy, and I can't predict you, which means I can't set up all my shit yet. Hey, I don't need this kind of criticism from a guy who lives in my cellar. You didn't even know you had a cellar until five minutes ago. Hey! I know, but I'm not that unpredictable. I've got a pretty standard routine. The only routine that I've gotten from you so far is that you wake up, do shit, then go back to sleep. I can't even tell what your job is. You never seem to go out. Well, I'm a journalist. A journalist? I run a blog. That's not a journalist. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. You're not out on the streets trying to expose the corruption of government officials or the people in power or rich or anything like that. You're sitting on your couch tweeting about how you didn't love the new Zelda game. Hey. I love the new Zelda game. Yeah, I know. I was watching you when you played it for eight hours straight and forgot to drink water, and then you went partially blind from dehydration, and then you panicked for an hour until you figured out that you should just drink water. It was just an example off the top of my head. Just don't call yourself a journalist when you aren't a journalist. Wait, how did you even set up all these cameras? You can get a batch of, like, ten for, like, seven bucks off Wish. It's actually pretty amazing. You, you'd be amazed what you can do with those things. They're even waterproof! I put one in your toilet! What are you, trying to sell them to me? I'm not interested in the cameras themselves, I'm just surprised that I never noticed you as you set them up as all. Well, you're pretty unobservant. We've been in the same room before. Really? Yeah, I overestimated how long you were going to be out one night, and you walked into your kitchen while I was standing in there, and then you plopped down on your couch and started scrolling on Instagram. Didn't even acknowledge me. Damn, I gotta get offline more. Yeah, it's a really unhealthy way to pass the time. Says the guy who spends his time watching me. Hey, I have other hobbies. Oh yeah? Like what? I make watches. Buy the watcher's watches as he watches you and makes watches. Prices range from $4.99 to $10.99. Does come with the caveat of someone stocking you. He specializes in men's watches, but he also makes women's watches. They're smaller for some reason. Buy while we have stock. We're selling fast. Shut up! Oh my god, stop trying to sell me stuff! Alright, sorry, 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 sorry. So, how do we move forward from here? I pity you too much to call the cops at this point. Well, I don't really want to kill you anymore. All the theatricality is gone. Wouldn't be fun. Would you like to chase me around the woods a bit? Get it out of your system? I'll fall down whenever I get the chance. Nah, it wouldn't be the same. Yeah, I get that. Thanks for not calling the feds on me. Don't mention it. I don't like them anyway. That's fair. A cab and all that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got all these snacks. You want to watch some movies? Gee, 
It's simple, yet very creative. Like, it's a fun ride, you know? Yeah, I think I see what you mean. But see, it's more of a fun ride for the killer, less so for the victim. Well, at the end, because most of you, the killer still gets to nothing. So I'd say it's a bad even. Yeah, but you can't tell me the trauma that these victims have to live with isn't absolutely atrocious. Fair point. Fair point. Ooh!